Well, good morning and welcome to our Marketplace Sunday. The main aim of the morning is to give us, allow us to see and gain understanding of all the outreach activities in North and West Whitney, to be able to walk around and ask the storeholders about what they're doing and be open to what God may be saying about, should I get involved with this practically on the ground or prayerfully supporting it? There'll also be a few stores where people have got a heart and passion for something that isn't actually happening at the moment, like healing on the streets, a whole thing of house of prayer and a new group called Impact. And we want to see are there other people who've got the similar heart so we can maybe take this forward as a church together. But like all things, uh, we need to have a balance. Although the outreach is a means to be the heart and centre of what we're doing, rather than being on the edge, it needs to be at the, at the core of what we're doing, we need a balance in our life. And I often think the up, in, out triangle is a good balance we need to have. So the outreach is the, the outward side, but we also need to be encouraging ourselves to be focusing on God. As Jesus said in answer to one of the questions he was given, love the Lord your God with all your heart soul and mind and love your neighbours as yourself. So our relationship with God must be first and foremost and stuff will flow from that. But that's one part of it, another part of the triangle. The other one is the in. If we're going to be encouraging and engaging with people in the community, we want to be them to be coming in to a healthy, uh, authentic community, a healthy family. We want that to be at the heart and centre as well. And so also this morning there'll be stores around how we can be involved in church life, encouraging and supporting what's going on here. So we encourage you to get around those as well. See, is this God where you want me to be serving at this time as we see our church family begin to grow in Whitney? Have a great morning. Enjoy it. And I hope you uh, can kind of catch God's heart for what he wants for you for now and for the future. Hi, my name's Jason Hufton and I'd just like to tell you a little bit about um, Fun Church, which is something we've been doing for quite a few years now. Uh, it's basically a time for people just to come as family and have a good time together. Uh, a time when they actually come into the presence of God, although maybe they don't quite know that they have because there's bouncy castles and loads of cake and, and Christian music playing and crafts and face painting and basically just the family of God having a great time together and we're inviting the community into that place, into that, that place of fun and excitement and of meeting with God. Uh, if you'd like to know more about what Fun Church is all about, come along to the table, have a chat to someone, and you might want to sign up to, uh, to get involved or just come along one Sunday to find out what, it, what it's all about. Hi, my name's Guy Plowman. Um, I do the late night cafe with a bunch of Christians from several churches around Whitney and essentially what it is is we come here into uh, Whitney Town Centre Marketplace we use this electricity power point uh, to uh, power our kettles and we set up a table and we give out hot drinks to late night revellers um, this does two things first of all um, it, is in, it encourages a sense of community in Whitney um, and everybody who comes and gets a drink takes it that way and um, we have various levels of uh, thanks given to us including being called legends and wonders and things like that. Um, the second level is um, that uh, these people often have something on their hearts that they need to talk about and we offer a listening ear if nothing else. And then the third thing is that once in a while it comes out that we are a bunch of Christians who are doing this. And at that point, we do actually get into deeper conversations. Everybody who comes for one drink tends to come again on future evenings. And so we get relationships built up over, over years. We've been doing it for three years and we've have, we have relationships with people that have been coming for three years. Um, to the point that uh, in some cases we actually meet up outside um, of the late night cafe. Um, I've had video evenings with people that I've met here um, and it's a really wonderful way to get to know people in Whitney that you wouldn't otherwise meet, um, to build up relationships and to give a sense of uh, community to those that don't necessarily feel it. Hi, I'm Jen Hoffordine and I um, do Little Treasures toddler group here at Burwell Hall on Monday mornings during term time. 
The idea is that people can come with their children and have a really fun time together in a warm, welcoming environment and hopefully experience something of the love of Jesus. At the moment, we're just thinking about how we can take the group forward and move people forward towards Jesus. Hello, I'm Jo McGee and I've been involved with the Monday Club since the first one, uh, January last year. We felt that it would be a good idea to have a lunch club both for people in the fellowship and people in the community. For there are a lot of people over 50 who are quite lonely and like to have somewhere to go where they can talk to their friends and make new friends. So we started the lunch club and we meet the last Monday of the month at Burwell Hall. We provide them with a two course meal and tea and coffee and uh, chocolate biscuits. And that's for the very reasonable sum of £3.50. We've since moved on to having a coffee morning on a Tuesday in between the Monday Club lunch group. We were really pleased when a couple of people from lunch club came at Christmas to our meetings on a Sunday and felt that this was really moving on. And also one lady at the coffee morning really opened up about some of her family problems. So it's not just feeding their bodies that we're doing and we hope that this side will develop. I'm Colin Green and God's called me into a bereavement ministry uh, these last four years. He's taken me out on the edge of the community to people who uh, by and large are not involved in church and whose loved ones passed away and given me ex ex amazing opportunities to express his love and his mercy and his truth uh, to hundreds, of, well actually thousands of people in that time and I'm hoping uh, through the church for some folk who could come alongside me in prayer and also uh, willing to visit some of the clients that I uh, have follow-up opportunities with. Hello, my name's Paul Timms and behind me is Merrifield House. On each uh, last Sunday of the month, the Barnett House Group take a service here, trying to bring the love of Jesus to the residents, their visitors and the staff. This ministry has actually been going on for over 13 years. Uh, the team has changed quite a bit in that time. But as I say, our house group is the core of that team at the moment. Having said that, there's always plenty of opportunity for other people to get involved. During the week there's also a Bible study in which we go deeper into God's Word and uh, just spend a bit of time praying with uh, some of the residents, trying to uh, bring God's love into their lives. Explore Together is something we've started doing um, at Burwell Hall once a month on a Sunday morning. It's basically a time when people can come and explore scripture together um, cross-generationally as well, which is really exciting. We're seeing um, people engaging with the Word, with people that they would never even normally spend time with. Uh, the idea of Explore Together is that we have six different zones which uh, respond to the different ways in which people learn. So we have a, a, a colour zone which is about people learning and exploring through seeing things and we have lots of colouring and pictures around for people to look at. We have a doing zone. Some people learn really well by actually practically doing something with their hands. We also have a chat zone and lots of people learn really well by talking things through and as they talk things become clearer. In in their minds. Some people really like to engage with words through reading or through writing things down so we have a word zone for people who would like to do that. 
other people like to hear things to learn they they like to listen to people sharing scripture or listen to music and they they explore and they learn best in that way while others just like to quietly reflect they like to go and they just like to to ponder and to think about God's word and that's how they learn best so explore together meets all of those different learning styles that people have and my favourite bit is at the end where we all come back together again and we share what God's been speaking to us. We share what we've explored and what we've discovered about God. Hello, my name's Rachel. I am the team manager for the Whitney Wolves Cheerleading Club. We run on a Monday after school during term time. We have a great bunch of girls who come do cheerleading. Um, the coaches teach them and different stunts and moves and things to move around the room and then in the summer term we go out and do displays and go to school fairs and the Whitney Carnival procession and um, we'd love to get more girls involved more coaches involved um, so that we can do more displays and hopefully next year to enter national competitions as well and win something if you'd like to get involved then speak to me thank you <laughs> My name's Derek West, I'm one of the leaders of Whitney Community Church and it's long been a vision of mine to see our church coming from the inside out into the community. But here's where we meet once a month as a very, very relaxed, easy way for people to come along and hear a little bit about Christianity, about our faith and so on in a way which is non-threatening uh, and non-judgmental and something very easy to uh, to to enjoy also that you know maybe jesus spent a lot of time going to the inn talking to the people there it's a great place where people do talk they're free to talk and it's a, a great opportunity to meet up and discuss things with people in a in a friendly way I'm Leslie West. Cathy Young and I started up the Breakout Choir in February 2011 after a request from uh, some of the ladies in the pubs that Derek and I had been singing Christmas carols in. We've been going now for two years. We performed at Whitney Music Festival and various events around the town in St Mary's Church, uh, various pubs doing Christmas carols. Uh, we meet on a Monday night at half past seven at the King's School. Hi, I'm here to tell you about Christians Against Poverty's course, Cap Money. It's a brilliant money management course which enables you to budget for all your everyday needs, to save for the future and to deal with any debts that you might have. It's three sessions of practical help and support using a workbook, a DVD and Cap's amazing online tools. Running the course is, has enabled us to be a practical expression of God's love and compassion for the people around here who've got money problems. As one lady said when she'd finished this last course, I was stressed out and I was burying my head in the sand, but now I feel much more positive, more in control, and I'm really hopeful for my future. That's Cat Money. Can I ask you a question? Do you know where your next meal is coming from? Some of the families in Whitney and the surrounding villages that we work with really don't know. They might be waiting for benefits to come through or because of ill health or a family crisis, there just isn't enough money for food. As Christians, we believe it's right to help these people. Jesus shows us through the Bible that it's good to help people in need. It's good to love people and to meet not only their spiritual needs, but these very practical needs too. Often people can arrive in a new house with nothing and we'll provide furniture, crockery, appliances and a box full of basic ingredients to get them going in their new home and their new life. This is a text message that I received from one of the families after we delivered them a food parcel this week. I'm so happy, so much food. You should have heard the screams of happiness from the boys. JP said we can live now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you for supporting people in your community in this way.
Five years ago, I got involved with Whitney Music Festival, but now it's grown into such a big thing. I've forgotten the figures now, but I think last year we had 200 performances going on through a week. This is a, a way we can reach the community and be involved in the community and make lots of friends and talk to them about our faith and talk to them about the way Jesus gives us the inspiration and the uh, encouragement to work in our community. So this year's uh, festival is going to be a lot bigger. We're currently arranging to use the Lees, uh, whereby we'll need to get the license and uh, f- take the whole area with two stages and, and expecting maybe 5,000 people. Hi, my name is Grant Camilleri and I'm going to be talking to you today about healing on the streets. I heard about this recently and uh, it was founded by a chap called uh, Mark Marx, who's a minister of Causeway Vineyard in Coleraine in Ireland. And uh, they've been doing it since 2005 and they've had a tremendous success in that cancers have been removed, people have been healed and most importantly people have got saved and that's really what we want. OCC is doing it here in Oxford. Um, and quite successfully from what I can understand. The reason we're doing it is I truly believe that people are unique, special and wonderful. We have our own individual fingerprints, we have our own eyes, all different colours, and more than that we all have laminum which holds us all together. God has made us unique and precious and in that way we want to get people saved. So by healing on the streets, people will get to see the awesome power of God, healing people, getting them saved, and then because naturally that happens, as it did with Jesus, they will want to know more about what has happened. This is unique and special. The reason I'm speaking to you personally is I want you to join me if you're interested that we go out like they do in Oxford and we go out for a couple of hours on a Saturday morning or a Saturday afternoon and in that way people can get healed and by seeing us consistently they know it's not a fly by night and at the same time it is something wonderful and they can get to know the wonderful saving grace of Jesus. Thank you. (laughs) 